Hello and welcome to Good Life, the health show with me, Pooja. Well, this is a show that focuses on providing you with solutions to your health-related issues, lifestyle and much more. Well, viewers, Good Life is celebrating its 75th episode and for 75 weeks, we have been connecting you with the best doctors in the region and have talked on various topics. But most importantly, it is you people who have given us such an overwhelming response in supporting our endeavor to make the region more health conscious. And we hope this relation continues for many more episodes to come. All right, now coming to the topic which we have taken today, breastfeeding, a natural and the safest way of nourishing a child. The benefits of breastfeeding are plenty and are not limited to the baby because even the mother has some advantages from it. I'm sure you must be really excited to know all this. So in today's episode, we are going to discuss on breastfeeding and to discuss more on this, we have with us Dr. Sthapana Sharma. So not to waste any more time, I'll straight away move to her and talk more on the topic which we have taken today. All right, doctor, thank you so much for coming to our show. And today is our 75th episode and we are celebrating this week as a, our 75th episode. And you are here and uh, we have taken the topic which is very important, very important, very important to note to the family members, to the ladies out there to the family members out there breastfeeding mm -hmm. so let's talk about the advantages about a breastfeeding. breastfeeding right congratulations firstly congratulations Pooja congratulations Northeast live for this 75th episode thank you so much and yes you've taken up a very important and much needed topic breastfeeding yes so uh, if you have asked me about the advantages of breastfeeding um, firstly it is dove food for the infant the food. If you have no other options, then you can go for something else. But otherwise, nothing can be more advantageous than breast milk. Mm. And it helps the mother as well, okay. uh, besides the infant. So first thing, if we go, uh, uh, first let's take up the infant. Mm. So firstly, it's the natural food, I've told you. Easiest way to get the feed, easiest way, and gives you all the nutrients that the baby needs at that time at that time whatever needs uh, nutrients in the right proportion that is very important right. in the right proportion whatever nutrients it's needed by mm -hmm. the baby and secondly because it is the safest feed mm -hmm. because it's a direct touch from the mother and to the baby so that will also help the baby from many uh, from many infections preventing the baby mm -hmm. from many infections whether it's uh, gastrointestinal infections that means uh, infection of the stomach or even ear, ear infections okay. or so both, respiratory both infections. Both the mother and the child has the advantages. Exactly. Both the mother and the child. The mm -hmm. child from nutrient point of view, from mm. infection point of view. Mm. And as for the mother, uh, she has got some immediate benefits and she has also got some long-term benefits. So immediate benefit is that firstly it helps her because of the hormonal change. Mm -hmm. It helps to contract, I mean it helps to stop the blood flow. The blood flow, I mean, the after the delivery, if she's okay. having a normal delivery, after the delivery, if she's mm -hmm. having bleeding, that mm -hmm. will somehow prevent the blood flow. All right. And also it helps in early involution because we know that during pregnancy, the uterus mm -hmm. becomes increased in size. So with due time, it helps in early involution. It helps the uterus to come back to the new. All right. In between of my show, I would just like to tell our viewers that, that our numbers are flashed on your television screens. And uh, if you have any queries uh, regarding the show and queries regarding the topic which we have taken today, please do call us. And Dr. Stapna Sharma is in our studio and uh, we are talking on a fruitful discussion we are having a fruitful discussion on breastfeeding so any questions related to that uh, you can please call up and ask and uh, dr sapna sharma is here to give you all the answers all right coming back to the topic so advantages a lot for both the both. infant and yes. the mother hmm. so we were talking about the advantages of the mother uh, we immediate advantages of course it helps in stopping the blood excess blood flow and also uh, helps in early involution of the uterus that means helps the uterus to come back to the normal size okay and long term you can see it helps us to prevent from some cancers 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 yeah it also cell helps to prevent in cancers and also they say that of course we do not rely on exclusive breastfeeding all only when it comes to contraception but initial few months it does help act as a contraceptive measure okay okay yeah. so it is all there is also a term called executive breastfeeding exclusive so, yeah, exclusive yes, breastfeeding exclusive so. breastfeeding mm -hmm. yes uh, so that is when hmm. that is what has been uh, what we uh, mm -hmm. um, advise that okay. exclusive breastfeeding for the first six months hmm. after birth hmm. that means we do not give any other feed mm -hmm. any other feed 
other than breast milk. Mm -hmm. And if situation arises, maybe sometimes if medicine needs to be given, that mm -hmm. can be given, okay. but only if you need to give it, that also can be given only with breast milk, mm -hmm. but nothing else. All you right. need not give even water. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. So that is uh, fully recommended and fully suggested. That is the yeah, thing. Fully suggestion is to be given. So yes. we have seen a lot of confusion comes in the mind yeah. of uh, the newly mothers and, yeah. and they have a lot of questions in their mind and a lot of like instructions has been given by the mm. family members and especially yes. from the society as well so mm -hmm. at that moment in time uh, which is the correct person to listen to of course doctors but uh, like uh, apart from doctors how they can get an idea that what to do and what not to do see for a doctor we'll come back to that but we have a phone call so let's yeah, take the sure. phone call and then we'll proceed with our conversation uh, hello hello I am going to continue to do the breastfeeding. Okay, okay. So, I am very happy to ask you to ask me to ask you to ask to ask you 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 to so, mahor pisot ami complementary food start koru tamne okol breast milk di no hoy tar uporeo kisman belek khaddo dia jay kintu tar holeo tar pisot breast milk to apni continue koruba pare enuka no hoy je apni breast feeding bond kori dibo aru somahor pisot belek khua dibo breast milk or loge loge belek khuao arambho koruba pare ar you can do this jetia lage apunar mon jay কিন্তু দু বছর ইয়েস দু বছর আগত বন্ধ কৰিব লাগা এনেকুৱা কোনো কথা নাই আপোনাৰ মন যদি বাচ্চাটোৱে খাই আছে যদি দেখিছে আপোনাৰ কমফৰ্ট জোনটো আছে তেতে প্লিজ ইউ কন্টিনিউ ব্ৰেস্ট মিল্ক কিন্তু লগতে বেলেগ আহাৰো দিব আফটার 6 মান্থ সমাহৰ পিছত বেলেগ আহাৰো দিব all right, uh, thank you so much for asking the question and uh, keep doing that because our numbers are flashed on your television screens and you can ask your queries and uh, Dr. Sapna Sharma is in our studio, will give you all the answers. All right, coming back to you, doctor, again, uh, like a lot of confusions in the newly mothers and a lot of instructions <laughs> from around. So which is the best person to hear in and like how uh, to deal with those kind of queries and uh, answers? Uh, see, uh, when it comes to uh, following the instructions, nothing can be best than the health personals. And of course, I would say that the, our elder generations, they know a lot, they know a lot and it's they who will guide us. But please follow whatever the health person says and I'm sure no doctors will advise you any other food besides breast milk hmm. except in rare conditions, rare okay. situations, yes. Okay. So what about the family members? They give you a lot of suggestions <laughs> at that time and especially the newly mothers. So at that time you have been asked to eat this kind of food. You have been asked to eat, to take a care, proper care of your diet as well. So yeah. as doctors, uh, what doctors do suggest uh, to the uh, parents out there? Um, uh, when it comes to diet of the mother, mm -hmm. yes, at that time we can see the calorie increase is uh, calorie increases intake calorie intake increases in case of the mother she at least needs to take around 350 to 500 extra calories than what a normal lady takes at that time okay and uh, this she has to adjust according uh, I mean you cannot take one bulk heavy meal at one time so you please adjust your food in uh, maybe five times a day small meals small in small proportions hmm. but have more of uh, a calorie dense food this can be in the form of uh, nuts hmm. you take extra uh, bananas you take extra eggs hmm. or even um, uh, proteins in the form of fish if you're a non-vegetarian fish hmm. or you take milk products if mm -hmm. it's uh, suits you but do take extra amount because you need to extra around 350 to 500 calories at that time okay so yeah. now talking about the breastfeeding for the mm. child like just as soon as the child is uh, born and uh, the doctors immediately ask the mothers uh, to feed their child or like uh, is there in a time span no. for we mm. nowadays we formulate that as soon as possible as earlier as possible. we had yeah, earlier we had a time within four hours or something but now no if, uh, as soon as possible in fact there are instances where after the delivery even in the labor table the baby mm -hmm. is given into the breast milk so uh, whenever possible if whether it's a cesarean case whether mm -hmm. it's a normal delivery case mm -hmm. but whenever possible we start breast milk 
Okay, feeling. so other than that, like what uh, suggestions do you give? Because at uh, that time, uh, a proper counselling is also very important. Yes, a proper counselling for the mothers yes. is very important yes. because uh, they get confused at times and when you get a lot of like queries in your mind, so a proper counsellor is very yeah. important. Very important because uh, from my personal experience in the field, we have seen that uh, we thought that uh, breast milk, breastfeeding is a very easy process. What is there? The baby is uh, just mm. kept, uh, taken into your uh, uh, chest and the baby, but I think think that's one of the toughest thing that can be mm -hmm. that attachment between the mother mm. and the baby okay. the correct positioning because if your position is not right mm. if your position is faulty when you take the breast milk when the child is baby is taking the breast milk then you do not get the adequate amount of breast milk Okay. And if you're not getting the adequate amount of breast milk, moreover, that may also injure the mother, you mm -hmm. know. She starts developing sores, she starts developing uh, fissures. She starts so sufficient amount of milk is not yeah, being Yeah, it is not being, the, the baby is Baby's also not, not getting the oh, yeah. milk, mm -hmm. as well as the mother is also getting injured, mm -hmm. you know. And then maybe because she'll, she'll complain of rashes, she'll complain of redness. Mm -hmm. So at this time, proper counselling, at least the health personnel, mm -hmm. whether it's the, whoever A&M is... Uh, along mm -hmm. with her mm -hmm. it's very important that they guide her at that time so what are, what kind of guidance and what kind of like counseling has been given in this entire process uh, like how to hold process. the baby how to position the baby yeah there, these are very important positions like mm. uh, uh, as uh, we nowadays say that the mother whichever comfortable position she feels but the best is when she sits uh, if she can sit immediately mm -hmm. then she can sit and she can hold the baby in one straight line mm -hmm. most mostly we see that mothers they take a pillow and and then they maybe sometimes the baby's neck is moving or mm -hmm. something the, what happens the baby is not very comfortable at that time mm. slowly with passage of time when the baby is around nine months ten months then then the positions, the positions change, change. but the initial the yeah at that time you can change mm -hmm. but initially when you start mm. just after birth mm -hmm. or um, uh, maybe in a month or so then it's very important that you keep the baby straight mm -hmm. the head and the body straight mm -hmm. and the baby should start face towards you mm -hmm. towards you, uh, uh, you it's not that only the head sometimes we see only the head is being tilted and mm -hmm. the baby's body is Bodies. straight no okay. you turn the whole, the body. whole body yes exactly mm -hmm. these are uh, uh, steps of good positioning. Okay. These are called good positions mm -hmm. and then there is also good attachment. Ah. We can know when the mm -hmm. baby is having a good attachment mm -hmm. and attachment is when the upper areola, areola is the black color um, region uh, mm -hmm. around the nipple. Mm -hmm. So the, it, it should be the upper areola part is more visible than the lower mm -hmm. and the baby's lips mm -hmm. needs to be everted, okay. everted outward movement mm -hmm. and then the baby should start sucking Mm -hmm. and very slow and mm -hmm. then wait for some time and mm -hmm. then again start sucking. Okay. These are signs of good attachment. Mm -hmm. So this is what are the things like a counsellor teaches and yeah, proper yes. counselling has been given mm -hmm. to the yes. newly mothers and uh, there are a lot of things nowadays being taught and there is nothing impossible can be seen because like, like earlier we used to see that a lot of confusion might create but nowadays there are proper counsellors, proper doctors yes. who gives mm -hmm. you a lot of guidance and of course the family members are there to guide you at the nook and corner of your life, isn't it? Yes and one thing uh, what we had noticed is that uh, sometimes you know just before breastfeeding mm. uh, breast milk before you start breastfeeding there yeah, we give certain uh, uh, food material like uh, honeys mm -hmm. or maybe sweetened water or mm -hmm. something these are a complete no-no to the child to the baby yes okay, to the okay. infant complete no-no mm -hmm. because uh, this will lead to infections nowadays okay. we said uh, before six months nothing Mm -hmm. So before six months, apart from the best breast milk, nothing. Mm -hmm. Because uh, we have seen that earlier they used to give lots of like uh, honey, you, you have mentioned, yes, and then graft yes, water yes, graft or water, something, yeah. some other things as well. Mm -hmm. And that has been taught as a natural uh, way of like yeah, a treating exactly. or maybe. So is that a straight no for the parents not to straight give Straight no. Before six months, straight no. And just before uh, the starting of breastfeeding, sometimes we say that the baby has newly come to the mm -hmm. world and we need to give this, to mm -hmm. give... I mean, it's, it's sometimes taken from the holistic point of view but no we do not allow that okay mm. so it is very hard for the parents uh, to make the parents understand at that point in time yes. you had to had a god like go for a hard time for them uh, well we do. Uh -huh. <laughs> we do so what happens like when such situation arises and a lot of questions come to you so how do you handle those situations uh, we usually uh, this type of we do not uh, i mean allow them we mm -hmm. speak to them we tell them about the importance that these are actually sources of infection so uh, i mean we tell them and usually we, we have seen that 
that um, the guardians and the parents I they listen to us they hear okay to so us. nowadays uh, they have become sensible so Very guardians sensible. and also uh, they have become protective towards uh, the society as well and about their health as well so yes. they listen to the doctors and it's good always to listen to your doctors because they'll give you a proper guidance to lead your life exactly. isn't it yes. so now talking about uh, the, the artificial feeding so artificial feeding is all about what uh, see, for, uh, as I, I repeatedly tell you that mm -hmm. besides breast milk, we do not advise any Anything. other food. But in the rarest of situation, if you do need to give artificial feed, then uh, sometimes we can go for cow's milk. Yes, mm -hmm. we can go for cow's milk as well as the uh, locally, uh, naturally, I mean, artificially available food. Mm -hmm. um, so you can go for that, but uh, nothing can compete with breast milk. But that happens generally milk. when, like, suppose some mothers uh, don't have an adequate amount of, like, a breast milk so breast that milk, is yes. being advised by the doctors mm, because yes, at that point do. in time what to feed yes so yeah. uh, uh, we have commercially available foods mm -hmm. which is and please if you, even if you need to give this artificial feed mm -hmm. please consult the doctor without that do not do it on your own because mm. uh, what we see is that the uh, artificial food they need to be mixed firstly and the right proportion okay. if it is not mixed in right proportion then mm -hmm. the baby will not get the uh, i mean uh, complete okay. nutrient which complete is needed nutrient will yeah. not be given so yeah. proper amount of food proper amount of quantity is very yes, important indeed. and in fact the boiling point and also to be mentioned about the yes. hot water how uh, how much uh, degree is being used so th those things those minute Every things minute has to be taken things, you know those mm -hmm. are the uh, finesse which is needed mm -hmm. about the wa amount of mm -hmm. uh, how mm -hmm. how hot the water mm -hmm. should be or how do you mix it and mm -hmm. uh, what should be the th uh, thickness consistency that's mm -hmm. very important mm -hmm. if you do not follow that the baby will not get the proper nutrition all right so you mentioned about the cow's milk can be given so yeah. is it a is there any procedure like how much to boil and uh, what uh, is the consistency of the hotness to be uh, given? see when it comes to cow's milk uh, we have always uh, there's always been a question whether you need mm -hmm. to dilute because it's considered to be hmm. um, very uh, thick for the baby hmm. but let me tell you first thing is the cow's milk it is a famous saying cow's milk is for the calf it mm -hmm. cannot be for the human but mm -hmm. if in rarest situation you have not been able to breastfeed then mm -hmm. you need to give cow's milk and uh, there are two schools of thought but uh, we have seen that IMNCI the one which we follow infant mm -hmm. feeding and neonatal feeding so I mean CI says that we do not dilute the cow's milk we give okay. it directly mm -hmm. and before that we need to firstly heat boil mm -hmm. and then cool it and bring it to normal temperature and then okay. give it yeah all right so this is what uh, has to be done so there are a lot of procedures and there are a lot of positioning per mentions you have said that counselors are there to help you out yes. with the position so do uh, parents do also visit to the hospitals and they have been given such kind of like sessions like how to be aware about the positioning of the baby and how to mix uh, those uh, food items for the baby uh, yes uh, so first thing is first counseling obviously the doctor gives mm -hmm. and also we have breastfeeding groups you know mm -hmm. so if a mother who has been breastfeeding her child mm -hmm. if she counsels you know because she counsels the other uh, pregnant lady suppose mm -hmm. or so you know this it's almost like um, when you're talking between friends, friends it's yes. easier and yeah. if you tell your experiences mm -hmm. so we as we have breastfeeding groups in the hospitals okay and we encourage them to talk to each other mm -hmm. and then tell them what are the benefits it's actually besides health benefits it's also isn't it it's an very easy beneficial process? also yeah. like uh, they share their experiences yeah, amongst we themselves have this and breastfeeding they groups. share their experience and what problems they are facing that mm -hmm. might be they get the solution at the same spot with everyone exactly well. this this is the uh, this effect and moreover it's a very easy process don't you think so you need not go for hmm. uh, I mean cumbersome process like sterilizing the bottle or uh, sterilizing the uh, uh, container mm -hmm. and then uh, I mean boiling the water bringing it to neutral I mean it's a direct process it's a direct process and, uh, yeah, just talking to not, the yeah. ones who is just sitting beside you and yeah. maybe feeding to the child yeah, and you, must, you, do, yeah. you can ask your queries and you will get your answers as well yeah. so, so there are a lot of like uh, things to be taken care of and talking about the diet of the mother and there are a lot of myths also surrounded yes. to it yes. so what is it all about see first thing is uh, as I've already mentioned about the 350 calorie mm -hmm. uh, increase at least minimum 350 mm -hmm. calorie after the lactation adherence mm -hmm. after delivery mm -hmm. so uh, that uh, there are no myths I mean there shouldn't be there's any no any diet restrictions mm -hmm. when it comes to but in fact uh, because there has been delivery the mother is usually given uh, there are uh, I mean as we've spoken about mm -hmm. the myths they mm -hmm. are not given uh, this type of food that type of food mm -hmm. but I would say that please 
uh, uh, I encourage them to have as much whatever food they like mm -hmm. in small proportions. Okay. Yes. Maybe there must be some restrictions. Those, mm. those restrictions will be given by the doctors as well. So yeah, is there a, like a, they can't have a, like ghee, butter or the fatty kind of food? So is it something like that? Uh, there are no such restrictions when it comes to giving them fats or proteins. But um, too much of ghee, like mm -hmm. there are some traditions where you give too much of uh, ghee, uh, ghee stuff. Mm -hmm. So uh, uh, yes, have it in uh, um, moderation. Mm -hmm. So those things are very important for the viewers to keep a note on that and what we are having a fruitful discussion on a breastfeeding and uh, the numbers are flashed on your television screen so if you have any queries regarding the topic which we have taken today and other than that also you can ask the queries and Dr. Sapna Sharma is in our studio to give you all the answers. All right, doctor, a fruitful discussion on this and lots of things we have covered it and artificial feeding also yes. until and unless doctors have recommended you because of some problems created yes. or some problems otherwise than breastfeeding. Breastfeeding is the uh, best solution and best, best thing mm -hmm. for the infant and also as well as for the mothers. Yes. So is it something like that if uh, like uh, the child is not being feeded or something like with the weight gain issue with the ladies out there is something related yeah, to that? Uh, so uh, when it comes to breastfeeding, the mother will not know if there is, uh, if the baby is having an adequate, uh, if the baby is uh, getting the adequate milk. So there are certain um, uh, signs that we can come to know that yes, the mother is getting, the uh, baby is getting the adequate milk when mm. it comes to the baby will slowly start gaining the adequate weight and the passage of urine mm. uh, if you uh, if you see that the baby normally passes around six to seven times urine then we know that the baby is getting the adequate amount of fluid mm -hmm. but if not then we can at least uh, keep a track mm -hmm. here I would like to also mention that we do not advise them to stop feeding during the night okay breastfeeding Normally, when we take it during the day, we also advise them to take the give the feed at night. At night. And what yeah. is the reason behind that? But because we cannot go for a complete stoppage during mm -hmm. the for twelve hours 12 or whatever. Hours, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Because so it should an be infant, it yeah, has it's to an be. infant. It, mm -hmm. it should be taken in small amounts. Mm -hmm. So give start giving even at night. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the ones who have a problem with feeding their child and they are not able to do that, maybe uh, some with some problems or maybe not having a proper guidance. So do you suggest them to continue with the breastfeeding, not to lose heart, and they yes. should have a lot of yes. patience. Yes. Uh, patience is very important at this point in time. Very important, mm -hmm. and I strongly recommend that you if somehow you have not been able to initiate in the stage mm -hmm. earlier stage continue the process start even mm -hmm. if the baby is taking the artificial bean but you should not uh, stop your attempt you should start and it's at one point it's usually successful because as mm -hmm. long as the reflex is there mm -hmm. but slowly if you do not start the breastfeeding for a long time then slowly the baby loses the reflex the breastfeeding okay. reflex that is sucking reflex mm -hmm. that we are, so the mother needs to see that the baby's reflex is there so continue therefore all right yeah so what if there is a long gap and the child is not being uh, breastfeeded so will the child again adapt it or it will be a very difficult measure for the uh, mm -hmm. mother that again... is frankly speaking uh, mm -hmm. going to be a little difficult measure to if it's mm -hmm. it, if the gap is very long mm -hmm. but then that hence we say that if uh, for some reason you could not breastfeed mm -hmm. then do continue that time so that the, as I've told you it's actually a reflex the baby when it sucks it's okay. a reflex mm -hmm. we usually we which we call uh, which we try to keep uh, it alive with the baby but if it's for a long time then slowly the baby loses the reflex all right so oh, what if uh, like if uh, the mother stops uh, breastfeeding so does it hamper her health and does it hamper her uh, like a uh, weight gain uh, they say that uh, when you breastfeed, mm -hmm. then it helps you to lose weight, mm -hmm. lose, uh, calories. lose calorie and lose weight. Mm -hmm. But then um, if she doesn't mm -hmm. breastfeed, why not breastfeed? Because that's giving her an advantage. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, yeah. So that gi that's giving her an advantage and proper uh, like a discussion can be given and mo morale boosting can be given to Very her. Maybe much, yes. uh, some myths or some like uh, discussions or some might uh, have already uh, told her that maybe it will gain weight or something like that. So maybe she is in a uh, shock or maybe she is in a very confusion state. That she is, mm -hmm. but then she shouldn't lose heart and she should keep trying mm -hmm. till uh, she's successful at least. Okay, mm -hmm. so 
uh, there are uh, like a lot of like mothers and especially the newly mothers uh, will have a query in their mind that is her milk adequate uh, mm. for the child or mm. not? So how will she come to know about that? That's what, mm. uh, if, uh, to know if her milk is adequate or not, you mm -hmm. have to keep a check, uh, you just check the weight gain of the baby. Mm -hmm. Slowly the ba baby uh, starts develop, uh, g mm. gaining weight mm. and by around six months the weight becomes double the, double the birth weight. Okay. So if the baby is around 2.5 then uh, kgs, then maybe by around six months she's going to the baby mm -hmm. will at least become five kgs, and okay. that is one weight gain. Mm -hmm. And second thing about the passage of urine, mm -hmm. as I'm saying, the uh, passage of urine, the number of times, mm -hmm. at least mo uh, more than six months, uh, mm -hmm. six times a day, mm -hmm. six to eight times a day, then we come to know that the baby is actually getting, getting the adequate weight. number of yeah. foods. And what yeah. if not, or then what are the other procedure? Then artificial feeding. Uh, is no, to be if the baby mm -hmm. is. Uh, Exclusive, on exclusive breast milk, mm -hmm. yes, she has to give a little extra effort on that. Mm -hmm. She need not um, uh, go for artificial feeding immediately. But yes, mm -hmm. if that continues for uh, some time, if the mother, mother is in a state of query, mm -hmm. then she can at least go and visit a gynecologist and talk to her and mm -hmm. Then only go for artificial, not okay. on her own. Okay, not no. on her own, but no. unless and until doctors advised. have recommended you, advised you, then only you can go for an artificial feeding and that also will be recommended by your doctor, doctor. how to go and what are the things to be taken yes, care of. exactly. So uh, there are a lot of things that can be covered up in this topic. So doctor, what are the other things you can mention and what are the other things our viewers can take up with it? Uh, so uh, when it comes to this uh, breastfeeding, uh, as I've told you, because of the, uh, because it's a direct touch between the mother and and the baby mm -hmm. so there is no chances of infections at least okay. we have seen that uh, artificial feed usually they uh, the baby is usually suffer from gastrointestinal infections mm -hmm. or even you know it helps to prevent ear infections ear infection because um, because of the movement of the uh, baby mm -hmm. during sucking it gives you an exercise yeah it gives the mm -hmm. station tube or the tube between mm -hmm. uh, 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 tube connecting to your ears mm -hmm. it helps to exercise that tube and it keeps it open okay. so because of that the baby also doesn't have mm. uh, usually normally breastfed breastfed baby they have lesser ear infections mm -hmm. and also uh, sometimes we've seen that we do not know which baby is actually having lactose intolerance or mm -hmm. breast milk there's no question of that okay but so artificial, artificial feeding will, there can be lactose intolerance and uh, this leads to unnecessary mm -hmm. uh, has a so it, uh, does it take time to understand if, if the child is having a lacto infection or something like that then yes. the child will be given some special kind of like without like lactose free milk should yes. be given then the, uh, she has to consult the doctor immediately mm -hmm. because if she sees that a baby has been having recurrent uh, tummy uh, mm -hmm. issues uh, for I mean for some time because uh, we are as I've always told you we are not scared of um, mm -hmm. the passage of stool we are scared of dehydration okay so before that sets in the she needs to consult her doctor mm -hmm. and then immediately the, uh, the doctor will do the needful all right yeah. so is a water a straight no for the infants or can a small amount will be can be given before like, six months before six months straight no. straight no <laughs> <laughs> okay, unless another, I mean, like suppose we see that if the child is coughing, so we feel like maybe uh, it is in need of uh, water or something like that, but it doesn't. No, it's okay. straight, no. Even uh, we have seen that even the medicines, mm -hmm. if it's, if you, sometimes if you need to give a pill, usually we give syrups, mm -hmm. but even the pill, we usually we take two spoons mm -hmm. and in one, sp with the back of the other spoon, we crush the, uh, mm -hmm. uh, the tablet and mm -hmm. then mix it with breast with milk and give. Okay, okay. We just try to uh, we uh, take out a little breast milk and then we give it to the so baby. So it works as a water, it works as a, all the nutrition should be, which is to be given to the infant Absolutely. as well. Puja. In fact, the mm -hmm. whatever nutrition as and mm -hmm. uh, I used the word uh, proper amount, proper okay. quantity, mm -hmm. whatever nutrition in the proper quantity, it's there in breast milk and it helps, especially the first milk, the mm -hmm. four milk. We haven't spoken on that, the colostrum, which we say, the yellow milk, which comes in the first uh, four to seven days. So so uh, that is the most important part. Uh, right. We have seen that sometimes this is discarded, All right. thinking it to be a different colored milk. Mm -hmm. So this is discarded, but mm -hmm. that is a comp that is the most essential part of the milk that okay. for the baby because that helps has lots of antibodies mm -hmm. uh, infection fighting fi uh, fighting mm -hmm. capacity so a so. lot of benefits from breastfeeding and a lot of advantages not only for the mothers uh, not only for the infants but also for the mothers as yes, well so uh, indeed we had a fruitful discussion dr sapna sharma thank, thank you, you so much thank for you, coming and uh, guiding our viewers as well so viewers uh, will right now slip into a short break but do come back soon because we have lots more on the other side